good morning. It's a real September feel outdoors this morning and something you'll be seeing on the roadways on Tuesday, of course, is the big yellow bus. The wheels on the bus go round and round and the one of the people that makes that possible is Sarah O'Brien from Atridge Transportation. So tomorrow, to, well, this weekend we're going to be celebrating the end of summer, but then we got to get back to reality on Tuesday and many drivers forget how to really react or act around a bus. Right. What are some of the things they should remind them of right now? Well, we're asking the drivers to be aware, especially starting next week, that the buses will be on the road um, to make sure that they are being extra aware and extra alert for the children that may be running to the buses. Um, they could be coming between parked cars. They're running a little late. Um, we're asking everybody to just slow down and be absolutely watching the buses. Watch the school bus stop sign. Um, watch the drivers. The drivers make contact uh, contact with the um, other drivers on the road to um, know when they can la allow the children on and off the buses as well. And this sign here means stop. And a lot of people still pass school buses, and it means stop for both lanes of traffic. It's not just the lane that you're in. If you're behind the bus and you're approaching, it's both lanes of traffic. Correct. It means stop back from the bus so that the students can either load or unload the vehicle in a safe manner. And you were mentioning if there's a median in the roadway, that's the only time if you're in the opposing lane of tra opposing traffic that you can pass by. Correct. Okay, now there's my boys up there in the bus. This weekend, what are some things that I should be telling my boys to be doing when they get on the bus on Tuesday? How should they be acting? How should be, they be approaching and getting on the bus? Okay, the number one thing that all of the children need to understand is that they need to listen to the driver. Our drivers are trained to make sure that they are watching all the traffic around them before they load or unload the children safely. So the children need to be listening to the drivers and watch for the prompts when it's safe to leave the bus or cross the road. We need them to sit down quietly so that the drivers can concentrate on the traffic and watch what's going on around them and not have to worry too much of the children bouncing around in the seats. Is there policies about food on the bus? Absolutely. There is no eating or drinking on the vehicles. Okay. Um, as they're going back and forth to school, it's just a hazard. You got your drivers in place for Tuesday already, but we were talking as well. If there's somebody right now watching at home, you're always looking for drivers. We absolutely are. We're always hiring anybody that's looking to drive a bus or already is licensed. It's welcome to come into our branch and uh, providing they pr pass the requirements, we'll absolutely find a place for them. So there you have it. There's some of the things that you need to know about school buses. You can take a look. It's nice, it's shiny, and pretty soon those guys right there yeah, those guys right there will be uh, will be um, going on. So I'm just going to go hop on the bus here. Come on, let's go take a look. I'm going to go around. Oh, this is the one thing we should mention as well. The reason for this device here is to make sure that the kids walk at a safe distance. Yes, so that the driver can see them at all times as they're crossing the road. So that's the one thing. So we're going to hop on the bus. I'm going to send it back over to Kevin right now. And uh, to going back to school on Tuesday, everybody. Gavin Matheson, you ready to go back to school? Bye to the... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, Kev, I'll throw it back over to you. All right, so Frank, ask her, you know, a reminder for kids as well, uh, while you've got her there, yeah. how, how should, we, we talk about drivers, how they should behave, what do kids need to know about being on the bus? Well, you know what, yeah, we'll, we'll ask the driver right now. When it comes to a good, a good child on a bus, what are some things the kids should be doing? Um, sitting down, keeping their hands inside, all the body parts inside out the window, uh, inside, and uh, yeah, sitting down and quietly. Quietly. Yeah. That's really hard, isn't well, it? Well, it is, and you know what? We allow them to have fun and talking, but there is a level of. Uh, of loudness that we allowed in the bus and, and not I, eating. No eating. I say respect the driver drinking. like you Absolutely. want to be respected. Absolutely. Okay. So there you go, Cap. Really just sit down and be quiet. That's the main thing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think, yeah, because we always worry about how we want our kids to behave in class. Thank you, by the way, Frank. Yeah. Uh, and thank you to our, to, uh, to Atridge for, for this. We always think about how the kids should be behaving in class. We've got to remind them how to behave on the school bus as well. So a reminder now getting back to drivers. Let us just reiterate what you need to know when you're approaching a stop school bus every driver and this is from the highway traffic act uh, when meeting a stop school bus that has its overhead red signal lights flashing shall stop before reaching the bus and shall not proceed until the bus moves or the overhead red signal lights have stopped flashing sometimes drivers are coming up the red lights come on they panic they slam on the brakes as long as the bus is moving and you can't stop proceed with caution 
but do your best to stop as soon as those red lights come on. And when the stop sign comes out, stop, dude. Don't even keep going. Just, just stop. Uh, someone's life could be in the balance. We'll be back with more BT.